Time now for Good For Utah Gardens, brought to you by Mill Creek Gardens. Welcome back, everybody, to Good Things Utah. Outside now in the Good For Utah backyard with Lorene from Mill Creek Gardens, and it's harvest time. Back it here, is Lorene. harvest time. We've been harvesting in the garden today. These are some leafy greens that you can actually get starts at Mill Creek Gardens right now and plant in your garden. There's a couple of different kinds of kale. Here's some Swiss chard. Is that Swiss chard? It is. And we also have like lettuce starts and, and some other leafy greens that you can put in the garden right now for fall harvest. Speaking of fall harvest, we've been over here Picking your strawberries. Well, our garden is not just for TV. Like, look what we're growing apples. here at the station. Look at these peaches. These are the Alberta peaches. This is a Utah peach. They're on right now. You can get them at the markets, and and you can come into Mill Creek Gardens and get your own tree. Okay, for you the and future. I said this was our favorite type of tomato. What's it, it called is, again, Lorraine? It's sun sugar. Sun sugar. It, Isn't it that does wonderful? taste like sugar. It's wonderful. Here's also some plums. It's really a beautiful time. Also in the garden, you can be harvesting your herbs and you can also dry them on your own. But this is sage. There's a couple of different types of thyme. This is just English thyme mm -hmm. and silver thyme. This is lemon balm, smell that one. Oh, and then of course our like favorite heaven. rosemary, rosemary chicken, rosemary soup. Rosemary smells so and good right just now. Like layer. Mm. Really that wonderful. really does. Well, it's so fun to have Mill Creek Gardens sponsor our garden out here because we have such incredible plants. And speaking of plants and fall, now it's time to switch over a little bit and get some fall color in your yard. Yes, and fall is a great time to plant. There's a lot of cool weather coming. A lot of root growth occurs in the cool weather. So we have these beautiful crepe myrtles here. There's even a red leaf crepe myrtle on the end. And then the purple one here, they're going to grow maybe four to eight feet tall here in Utah. They're a late season bloom, so when other things aren't blooming, they are well, along and with Marine, the Rose of Sharon. I mean, you so, think of planting in spring, why fall? Well, it's a good time because it's cooler weather, it's more comfortable, you have a little more time than in the springtime. And also, the root growth occurs in the cooler weather, you really don't notice that under the ground, but they get established before the heat of next summer. Well, and then you'll have them looking so good by the and time in spring. the supply is great. Often in the fall, the plants are a little more beefy than in the springtime because they've been growing, I so that's that. another little secret. Hey, look at these beautiful grasses. This is a switchgrass, a panicum. This one here is a little blue stem. This is a native. This is a great one. It's going to go reddish in the fall. You can see those stems starting to go that maroon color. And this one here is a little beautiful plant. This is Crocosmia. And we have a couple of different colors of Crocosmia. It looks like a little orchid growing the up the baby stem. Baby orchids is with, what it looks like. Yeah, with this mm -hmm. um, strappy foliage. It's wonderful. In front of it, we have a coneflower. We have several varieties of coneflower blooming right now. Um, here's a lero lero Leropi or Liriope, however you say it. Depends on where you're from in the country but um, great grass selections, as well as this is one of the favorites, which is Russian sage. And I have this. tall ones and short ones, and mm -hmm. there's um, fringe lead ones. And then we have these beautiful hydrangeas, and we have these hydrangea trees that just came into where they come up four feet, and then they go into a tree form. This one's called limelight. We have several other varieties. You'll just have to come see them. And when you plant, you also want to use really good soil conditioner, which is the gardener in bloom. Soil right there in the front. Right there in the front. And the acid planting mix would be ab absolutely excellent for the hydrangeas. Um, there's other planting mixes for other recipes in the garden. But whenever you plant, always add organic material and root stimulator so that they get established well, about twice Well, this isn't dirt. Fast. This is soil. It's what all of these incredible plants need to look this amazing. Let's finish up with that tree, Lorraine. Okay, this is a catalpa bungee or umbrella catalpa. The cool thing with this is, is that the start, about five years ago, a tree was recognized just around the corner from where I live, which is about a mile from Mill Creek Gardens. They went and took cuttings, and this is the first release of this umbrella catalpa. It grows about 15 feet tall, shaped like an umbrella, big fat leaves, and it's beautiful. Started so, right by your house. How and cool our is trees, that? yes, and our trees are all 20% off right now, as well as our roses are 25% off. So fall planting time, come to Mill Creek Gardens today. And it's a great day at Mill Creek Gardens. Thank you so much. Head to our website, everybody, for the location information, goodforutah.com slash GTU. Go in, say hi to Lorene. She'll be running around and pick the perfect plant for you and your yard. Thank you, Lorene. Yeah. Hey, Brian, let's send it back to you. What's coming up on Midday Today? Well, here are the headlines we're following. All the exits on Foothill Drive and I-80 are now back open.